This is Dr. Walid Kadro from the Golden Cardiovascular Center for Academic Cardiovascular Teaching and Research. And I'm presenting a case of uh, right internal carotid artery stenting in an octogenarian patient done uh, by using right ulnar axis. This is an 84-year-old male, non-smoker with history of hypertension, hyperlipidemia, and recurrent stroke. He had uh, a non stemi uh, myocardial infarction four months ago, and coronary angiogram and PCI to the, his left anterior descending was done uh, at that time using right femoral axis. Uh, carotid Doppler showed bilateral severe internal carotid artery stenosis. His left internal carotid artery stenting was done about uh, three weeks ago uh, using right uh, radial axis. And the uh, summary of uh, this uh, stenting using the right radial axis is present also on my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, he was admitted for elective right internal carotid artery stenting and due to his bad experience with the femoral axis from uh, his coronary angiogram and PCI since he developed a groin hematoma, the patient insisted on getting his right internal carotid artery stenting from the hand. His right radial pulse was present, but it was weak. So to avoid uh, the risk of uh, radial artery occlusion, we decided to do the procedure from the right ulnar axis. Uh, the axis was uh, obtained. And uh, using uh, uh, SIM-1 catheter, the catheter was advanced to the uh, ascending aorta and was shaped at the aortic valve and then the caster was pulled back to the brachiocephalic trunk and uh, slowly pulled back with the tip uh, <coughs> pointing upward so it was able uh, to engage the right internal carotid artery. And this is the angiogram showing uh, severe uh, stenosis are more than 70% in the distal common uh, internal carotid in the distal common uh, carotid artery and affecting also the osteum of the right internal carotid artery. You can see the stent in the uh, left uh, uh, carotid system, which was done a few weeks ago. And with that, uh, uh, a cath uh, sorry. Uh, Stiff wire was placed in the common, uh, in the right common carotid after making a loop to engage uh, the uh, carotid. And then uh, the uh, sheath, six French uh, sheath was placed in the right common carotid and this is the angiogram showing the lesion and this is the loop showing uh, uh, the position of the sheath and through that sheath, we uh, put a filter wire. And you see that there is a bend here at the sheath due to the loop. So to open this bend, you have to push uh, the sheath a little bit. So that will open the bending and make, uh, give us the ability to advance the filter or the uh, uh, balloon or the stent. This is the self-expandable stent in place. And uh, this is the deployment of the self-expandable stent. This is a nitinol stent with a diameter of 8 millimeter and length of 40 millimeter. The angiogram after stenting showing residual uh, stenosis that require post dilation, and here the post dilation was done with 5.5 uh, balloon, and you see that there is still some denting at the lesion due to uh, uh, heavy calcification. This is the final angiogram showing. Uh, a minor uh, residual stenosis and it's calcified due to a big um, calcium nodule uh, at the end of the common carotid artery but we get good lumen in the internal carotid artery and this is another view after removing the uh, filter wire showing good lumen in the uh, uh, common carotid and the 
uh, right internal carotid, there is a little pinch of the uh, uh, right uh, external carotid. This is the intracranial angiogram showing good uh, uh, perfusion to the brain and no loss of any uh, side branch. This is the AP view and also we did the lateral view showing uh, good perfusion. So uh, this was done through the uh, right ulnar approach and uh, the tips to get uh, the ulnar approach is to do the stick distally at uh, 60 de degree and uh, use the ultrasound, try to locate also the ulnar nerve to avoid any uh, pinching of the ul ulnar nerve since uh, uh, that may cause uh, long-term uh, neurological changes uh, and uh, try to use the uh, braided cheese uh, to avoid any uh, spasm. Thank you very much.